Hey guys, welcome to episode three of The Walker. We are now gonna be putting the body together, and then once we finish the body, we will start final assembly with all those little bits and pieces. Again, I apologize for any noise that you hear in the background. We've got um, a wide open door and a lot of stuff going on in the shop next to us. Okay, let's get started on the main body assembly now. So we're gonna start with this guy. Oh, uh, we noticed on our model that the cover here for when they did the castings was still present. So if that's the case, just take your exact knife and just do a quick carve. It takes like 15 seconds. This doesn't have to be cleaned or can remain rough, etc. And then we're gonna take the long end of our neck piece. So not this one, not the short piece, but the long piece. That's gonna sit in here. Perfect 90 degree angle, but it's gonna be backwards to what we did before. So the other one was the gears were facing towards us. This one, the gears facing away with the little tab facing upwards. So we're gonna go ahead and secure that. So again, with our trusty super glue. situated and then we'll just double check that for 90 degrees and then we're going to take our collar piece put some more glue in there as well as around the outside sits right like that. Now you've got a nice, tight, solid seal for your neck. Okay, now this whole piece here, we're gonna put inside the body. In your kit, there's gonna be a bunch of tabs that would go here, but we have found out that you don't necessarily need them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put glue on all of these spots here around the model. And then that is what's gonna hold the bottom in. So then you want to make sure that the neck faces away from the slotted hole. You want to make sure that you're underneath all of the detailing tabs. Center everything. There we go. And then we'll just press it. The back is more flexible than the front. So the front stays pretty good. in that back a little bit. May shoot some pieces here. You can reinforce this if you'd like to with some glue. I don't think it's, it's necessary because it will hold its shape a lot better once we get the back and the front on. All right, so now let's deal with the back. This is gonna sit flush. And we're not gonna use any quick set when installing this because we want it to be able to move around. And we put it in place. So you're gonna get it flush. And then just 
squeeze. It's going to be a little bit, it's a little tricky on the, on the top. Again, when these things come out of the casting there, that big shell is going to be a little flexible. There we go. So you're going to have a little bit of gappage. Very minor to fill. So just let that do its thing. Let's go ahead and put some glue back here. Once it sets, you can also reinforce this with some epoxy. And then we're just gonna work we're going to work these little cracks. So it looks like it's separating. I'm just going to put some glue in there and then squirt, squeeze and rub. So again, you'll wanna, you can do some light sanding and just do some filling to fill in those cracks before painting. This whole thing can be prepped before paint, by the way, just in case that wasn't clear. Uh, next, we're gonna pop in this guy. So you can see he sits real nice, just like that. Nice bead of glue. Hold it nice and steady. Drop a little bit of glue in the cracks. And there you go. So up at the very, again, up at the very top, just where the uh, slight variations might come from, from the actual castings. Remember that this has to be pulled out of a silicone mold. Um, you'll have just a little bit of filling to do right down there and right on the side. Each person's might vary a little bit as to the, uh, the exact adjustments required, but all in all, pretty simple. Next, we're gonna put these pins in. So I went ahead and just like the feet, we took the large metal inserts. Hey guys, it's Justin again. For this part, we recommend using the same Gorilla Glue that we use for the feet to fill the gap in between the large brass insert and the hole. We also recommend putting the brass insert a little bit inside to give it a little bit more of a friction fit. Using the steel bar as a guide will help with this. Also, pre-threading the grub screw into the insert will make your life a whole lot easier versus trying to do it while on the model. And that's your set screw for the rotation sideways as well as holding the legs. So for this guy, I'm actually going to pull out the epoxy because this is our something we want to make really strong. And we also want a little bit of extra work time. 
And we're just going to do our mixture of epoxy. And then they're all going to go in. facing each other towards the center. So I'm putting glue on the farthest away edge from the brass piece, just FYI. Yeah, this is much easier to do with a brush. So setting these screws is not the easiest thing in the world. We'll let you know that, but we tried it in different positions on our prototypes and found that they had it right when they did the original, <laughs> there's only there's only one way that you can really access these. I'm just gonna make a little bit more epoxy. So if you make enough epoxy, which I think I might have, now that we've got these set into place, we're gonna push that back Grab your four hip joints, and we're gonna epoxy the steel posts in. Hey guys, for this part we actually ended up later on swapping out the epoxy for the Gorilla Glue. That way it would provide a little bit more secure connection as well as another tip when you're doing this part sand the steel rods and that'll give it a little bit more bite for the glue to grip hold of 80 grit sandpaper seem to work the best this is what the set screw will press up against when we're locking the legs in Okay, so we've got all that taken care of. So we'll let all of that dry. And while everything is drying, we can go ahead and add some of the detail bits on our body. So first of all, we've got these two triangular pieces. So we're just gonna put some glue on the wider portions, the thick part faces up towards you, and then just look at the... So then we'll press. And there you go, there's one. Put some more glue on. And then I'm paying again, I'm paying attention to the outside so that I can get it lined up. If you notice any anomalies with your setup, then you can just use a little file and kind of smooth some things out, but it's a perfect fit. There we go. So we got those two pieces in. Now, if we move to the back side, We've got two shield pieces that need to go in. So just a nice dollop. And those will go on like that.
Ooh. There we go. And then on top, Putting the sun upside down made it a little cockeyed. So I'm gonna have to uncure that. On this piece, we're gonna put glue on the edge of all four sides. All right, so now that we've got all four corners, You just gotta get your balance correct on the sides. And then you're just, again, barely pushing it in to where it's still raised up a little bit. And there's that piece. So again, the only piece we have to adjust is this one. So if you're gonna put it on, put it on facing this direction so that you can see what's going on. But aside from that, this whole thing is done. Oh, cool. And we'll just pop those off and reset those. And then as far as the legs go, each leg it's gonna pop into its little slot here. And then all you gotta do is use your Allen wrench, which can get really tedious. But you use your Allen wrench and just tighten it up. And then once they're all nice and tight, again, you, you, once they're tight, you can still move them from side to side, and then you can like super tighten them to, uh, to keep them from moving. And I would not recommend doing any super tightening for the first 24 hours with the epoxy. Again, the epoxy is not fully cured for 24 hours. All right, so we'll adjust the back pieces off camera, and then when we come back, it's final assembly time. Thanks for watching this video on building the body of the walker. If you haven't seen any of the previous videos, we have episode one going over the legs and episode two going over the head. Episode four, which is coming up next, is gonna be the final assembly. We'll see you then. Bye.